Hi, and welcome to the seventh walkthrough of our house. Last video was released exactly a month ago, and a few days after it went online, we moved into the house. As you can see, the garage is still a bit of a mess, but it's very nice and spacious, so we can store lots of items. Before moving in, we constructed the racks you can see, which is a good tip for anyone moving, build some storage space first. The heat pump and solar panels have been working well, and even in this freezing weather, we've been warm. We've also been collecting solar energy. Next up is the little room in the back of the garage. This is also where my two servers reside, on the right in the bottom. Here we have 8 network sockets and 2 times 4 power sockets on different fuses. I installed a big disc so I can do lots of tinkering and video work in the future. And of course, there is more storage. We repurposed some old IKEA cabinets. Now I have lots of drawers to store my IKEA Tinker storage boxes. Taking a look outside, you can see all the ice and snow in the backyard. But we've been warm without any problems. Sometimes the heat pump will go into a defrost cycle, filling the whole backyard with water vapor. Going inside, we see a Ziggy. As of late, the garage has become her domain, and she looks very alarmed while I'm intruding. The kitchen is still pretty much in the same state as before, but now in use. One of the countertops had a crack, and that has been replaced, but we are waiting for the correct cupboard to go above the dishwasher. Here you can also see a ceiling mounted wireless access point and a Google Nest smoke detector. More about those in future videos. We've worked very hard in the living room and it's all starting to come together quite nicely. In the future, we plan to put a big dining table in the now open space. In the living room, I also have a first demo test setup of my self-built LED lighting system. It turns on and off automatically, or we can control it using a phone app. More about how this works in my ESP8266 LED lighting videos, the link is in the description. I also found some time to set up the TV and speakers.
Next to the living room is my office. That's also been taking shape, although most of the things you can see in here right now are temporary. It does provide a space to work for now though. And here we can finally see the start of some real home networking. Here you see the Microtik router board CCR1009 with a gigabit PoE injector switch on top of it. Currently it's providing power to three Microtik router board WAP ACs in the house. A fourth access point still needs to be mounted outside on the back of the garage. And here is my current desk setup. It's a triple monitor setup which works very nicely for editing videos. Moving on, we see some more repurposed IKEA cabinets. This time, we've made them into shoe racks. Upstairs, we quickly see another access point and a shot of the slit that's under all the stairway railings in which I will also be adding LED lighting. The hallway on the first floor turned out quite big. You certainly won't feel cramped here. It's really nice how all the wood colors have come together. Combined with the skylights, it looks really beautiful. The bathroom is now also mostly finished. The giant bathtub has already been used a few times. Here you can also see a thermostat module, which are in most of the rooms of the house. This allows each room to have its temperature set individually. The vanity and sinks have also turned out great and are very easy to use. And last, a shot of our bedroom in the attic. It's become very peaceful and calm with all the wooden beams and carpet, and at night we can look out of the windows and see the stars. And that is the end for the walkthrough again. This will be the last walkthrough for a while, since the house is now overall finished. This home network series turned into more of a house building series, but hopefully you enjoyed it equally. Going forth, videos will be about more singular topics such as the LED lighting or Wi-Fi, instead of these general overviews. We hope you enjoy them equally, and to see you back for future videos.